What's going on guys, welcome to today's video, thanks for tuning in. Now today was the first deadlifty of the um, intensification phase that we're currently going through. Um, so we were to work up to a top set of 88% for a triple after two sixes and then two two lots of three reps with 257 and 267 kilograms. Now, when I actually was first reading the sheet and I was first reading what I was to do today, I got a little bit kind of nervous and very, very excited because I saw 277.5 kilos or 610 pounds as a top set and immediately thought, that's a really heavy weight, cannot wait to get really amped up and started getting a little bit nervous and started kind of getting quite amped up to do it. Now, the thing is, is that one thing I'm trying to get away from is seeing these weights as heavy weights or big weights. Now, with the numbers I'm going to be going for uh, and the current max I currently have, uh, these numbers aren't actually that big in, comp in comparison. They should always be very, very, very uh, doable. And although they are very doable, what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to almost get to a point where when I, when I see the weights, they don't seem like any form of a big deal to me. And that's what I kind of accomplished today. Uh, I went in and on no reps did I get any form of really mentally or emotionally invested or, or very hyped up at all. Now I'm not saying that in uh, next week or the week after that I won't be because very likely will to kind of continue on the rep ranges as I do tend to get a lot out of a hype up. Uh, just with the kind of mentality I have as a lifter, I do tend to get a lot out of a hype up. Now the thing is is that today just really, 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 really showed me where my strength strength levels are currently lying and that these weights aren't actually that big a deal and they were honestly just flying and again the reason I used my straps on the first two sets eh, and not the th the three top sets was simply just because eh, I use because I do a hook grip on the two sets of sixes wanted to save my thumbs for the top sets as two sets of sixes would absolutely destroy my thumbs and then make the top sets pretty damn difficult. But if I do it the other way around, then it's pretty easy. And um, I, because I do hook grip, I don't really have any form of a grip issue whatsoever. So I definitely can get away with using straps. But again, if you do suffer from a grip issue, then I would probably recommend probably using as little time in straps as you possibly can. And again, here you saw my top set. Um, this is actually... 10 kilograms under my all-time three rep max and that was done at the end, end of an intensity block uh, very very hyped up with not very little volume done beforehand so overall very very happy with the way things are moving and again always always just trying to nail down positioning and not sacrificing positioning for momentum which I have been very 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 um, guilty of doing in the past but again today moved very very well and actually after the third rep uh, had, when I turned off the camera I had a little laugh and a giggle with just kind of how well the bar moved and was very very easy and again a good cue I always use at the top is um, pulling that chest through instead of you see a lot of people kind of keeping their shoulders um, slightly rounded but pulling backwards and you do tend to see sometimes people do tend to get red lighted for that especially I have seen it in IPF Lane Norton has been red lighted for it a few times but instead of focusing on pulling backwards focus on as you're breaking your knees trying to pull that chest through and by pulling that chest through your shoulders will come into full extension and there'll be absolutely no way that you will be red lighted and again just finished off with some accessory work had five sets of 10 with bent over rows I bumped these up from 107.5 to 110 kilos again just trying to add weight to the bar as often as possible uh, just like anything else, trying to build up my accessory work would be really cool to eventually get to kind of some form of a three plate bent over a row for sets of 10. And then again, finish off with some single arm rows. Again, added two and a half kilos to these. On the bar, roughly is 28.25 kilos each side of the dumbbell. So that is, it's, I think the dumbbell is roughly like 60 kilos, something along that lines. So thanks so much for watching, guys. Like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. And I'll speak to all of you guys next time.